the speedometer parts in the mail. So I'm gonna crack this open. Hopefully the Speedo has the magnetic cup that I need and the needle itself. So we'll see what happens. Holy shit. All right. Looks like because the needle is still in it, it has some bounce to it. The spring is still good. So it looks like it has the parts I need. The only way to know is to crack it open and find out. So here we go. I also needed some of these for mine because there was a couple missing. So that's just a bonus. I'll probably sell whatever's left on eBay because somebody may need it. Looks to be good to go. So we're gonna get this needle out of here and then get this magnetic cup out. Actually, I think I'll just transfer this entire unit over to my car. Saves me of having to take the delicate pieces apart and looks like the gin and the oil fabric is actually a lot better. I'm just gonna swap this entire unit over. All right, so I'm gonna at least gotta break it down to here and get this gearbox out to lubricate it. The letters on the odometer look a lot better than the ones in my car too. So I'm gonna take this whole unit over to the other car. I'm gonna pull this plug here and lubricate inside there with some gear oil and then some white lithium grease as well on the gears inside here. I am going to wait until my new piece of plexi comes probably tomorrow and then I'll disassemble my dash and put this one in with the new cable. So the brand new front glass came in today. I'm going to pull my gauge cluster out of the car and bring it back in, pick the best part, put it back together. Hopefully it works. three screws out and this front face plate removed we can pull the speedo out a lot of these older cars the wires aren't very clearly defined or marked as you can see here and even if they were from the factory the markings on them may have rubbed off by now they didn't really have any specialized plugs that would only fit into certain holes and things like that they all just kind of connect to one another so it's wise to take a picture of the wire configuration before you disconnect any wires so that when you're done you can always look back at the picture and remember where to put what. So now with a clear picture taken, I'm going to remove each of the bulbs. Oh, you bitch. Looks like the oil pressure light has pulled a wire. So I'm gonna need to repair that before I put everything back together. Disconnect the fuel gauge, remove the center light bulbs, the generator light, the coolant temp sensor, the blinkers, and the high beams. Then it pops right out. Back in the workshop, old gauge and newer parts. So now I need to break this open, same as the other one. Clearly in a lot better condition. All right, I'm gonna move that aside for now. So this one looks just like this one. I'm assuming it will still work. We just need to oil it up real good before we put everything back together. So I'm gonna swap this entire unit for that entire unit. After I lube all of this up, and make sure that nothing's binding anywhere. So there's this little brass plug on the side here of this hole, and apparently there is a felt washer. It is full of gunk. We're gonna pull that out. It's like a little felt plug. And then you're supposed to fill that with a penetrant oil or water removing oil. I'm gonna use WD-40. And then I'm also going to spray some on this felt here just cause it is filthy. And then that way it doesn't soak up all the oil I just put in there. And then put the plug back in and seat it. Now with that complete, I can put some lithium grease on the actual gears inside the mechanism, trying not to get it onto the magnetic cup itself. And there we go. That'll end up hitting everything after a couple of rotations. So now we should be good to put everything back together. So we put our backing plate on with our light diffuser tubes installed between the two pieces itself. Now we need to get the old glass, which has some cracks. I don't know how well you can see that. Got some cracks in it. I've got a new one right here. Just remove all these screws and pull this face plate off the backing plate itself. All right, 
that comes right off. You don't want to damage these either. That's your coolant temp sensor and your fuel gauge, so be gentle with that. And then it looks like another retainer plate that could be cleaned. And then we're going to lift the old plexi piece out. There we go, new glass. Put the plate back on, put the backing plate back on. Now we can install the gauge cluster. Be careful that the needle does not move while you're putting it in because it can get caught and it will break. So there we go, we got new glass, we've got a needle. We have a potentially working Speedo cup and I have a new cable in the trunk. I'm gonna go put it back in the car and see what happens. Here we are back in the car. We have the gauge all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna set it up here gently, pull my phone out, get my picture ready. But before we get started, I'm going to address this oil pressure light not being fully connected. That is a problem. Not real sure what happened. I'm gonna pull the bulb, check the housing itself. Looks like there was a spring-loaded button in the bottom there, so I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. Well, it being a short notice and not having the proper stuff to replace this bulb housing, I'm going to essentially make a spring out of the wire itself. Oh, there is a spring there. Looks like the captive nut that held onto it just broke. So we're going to wrap this wire around the spring inside the coil. Pull that back down in it. So we got it back down in there. Let's put our bulb back in. Sweet! Now with all the wires connected, I'm going to get under the car and connect the speedometer cable to the tranny and run it up through the firewall grommet and connect it here before I button everything up. The only thing left it could be is the gear inside the transmission housing itself. So we're going to open this up and hopefully be able to pull out the speedometer driven gear. Now we need to remove this looks like 3 8 bolt that retains the transmission speedometer driven gear housing bullet. Now this is the gear that needs to be replaced because it does look pretty chewed up. So the GoPro and direct sunlight trapped out on me. It's in overheat mode, so it's off using the phone. I've got the speedometer cable ran all the way up to the back of the gauge. I'm gonna connect it and then put everything back together and go for a test drive. So the gear finally came for the transmission speedo gear. I got it popped in and took it on a test drive. The speed is showing 10 miles an hour faster than I'm actually going. I tested it with my iPhone apps for the speedos. I'm going to wait until I get the rims and tires because they may be taller than the ones I have now and that may affect this as well. So once I get the rims and tires, I'll know how much over it is or under and I can adjust the speedo gear and the trans to determine the proper speed up here. Otherwise you have to send them off to a speedo shop which there's only about five of those left in the country and they degauss or add more gals to the magnet in the magnet cup that adjusts how quickly the speed changes but i think that's if the change is exponential say if down here you're about 10 off and over here you're more like 20 off then the magnet needs to be adjusted if you're 10 off all the way across then it's the gear in the tranny so i'm going to purchase a different gear based on what i get once i get new rims and tires i also threw in a sun pro tack i had laying on a shelf totally forgot about it it works i'm still working out some issues with the light not working i may have tapped into the wrong prong on the headlight switch but i'm going to have that fully working it actually shows the tack speed right now it has an adjust for zero i need to adjust that but other than the light not working it, it shows rpm and works fine uh, comment below if you want to see a video on how to hook one of those up on an old school car and i can add in a part about the newer style pretty basic easy to do so like the video if you liked subscribe if you want to see more and as always guys keep on modding Oh, 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 oh,